Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, something was kind of sparked in my mind uh, watching this person who I follow on YouTube. And he was basically talking about anxiety and depression and just dealing with emotions and uh, just basically trying to work through it. And I don't know, it just... It reminded me of kind of where where I've been, I guess, as far as what I've been I had been focusing on to try to heal, um, especially trying to heal depersonalization, and that route was like focusing on like psychology and uh, like past traumas and becoming emotionally aware and and doing all these things to become more just aware of your emotions and and all that stuff uh, and I'm not saying that that is invalid or not good that is super crucial uh, in terms of want like feeling better and and healing whatever you're trying to heal um, but I guess I've just learned a lot in the last year and a half ever since I got this last concussion and basically what I've learned is that our gut bacteria or our microbiome like is our our life is our brain is our spirituality it controls everything I could eat one way and not feed the overgrown stuff that's inside me right now I would have no depression I would not feel anxious. I would feel calm. And that's simply just from eating something else because the state of my microbiome is microbiome is imbalanced. So certain foods cause fermentation by certain things or they the overgrown parasites or yeasts or bacteria they feed on foods that are healthy and cause chemicals to be released into your bloodstream and into your brain they create chronic inflammation in your whole body as well as your brain and it's well known or at least it's it's super like out there that inflammation is at like the root of or at, at least is involved with like everything that is like every health problem and I just from what I've experienced with myself and what I've researched, our microbiome like controls us. And so if you're dealing with anxiety and depression, like I, I deal with that and like I have bigger issues than that right now because of, I have concussions and chronic inflammation because of my microbiome. So I'm trying to heal my microbiome to heal my concussion and while I've been doing this, I've kind of realized that, holy crap, not only can I turn off the inflammation, at least I've experienced it for little bits of time, but I can also turn off this anxiety response and totally just fall out of feeling depressed and feel spiritually more connected and... Um, like spiritually just in every like emotionally spiritually physically like I am super duper controlled by this state of my microbiome and it's kind of scary and so if you're dealing with anxiety and depression you you for sure have some gut issues too, probably. Like, I'm not gonna say you do for sure, but you do for sure. Um, like, and it may, you may not have any like crazy digestive symptoms. Like I've never had any crazy digestive symptoms except for the last few years I started to get more bloated and, and I was eating a higher carb diet. And it's not that eating a higher carb diet, especially a whole foods plant-based diet, like that's a healthy diet, but when you have this microbiome, when you have imbalanced gut bacteria, overgrown yeasts, 
parasites, bacteria, um, you're going to, all the carbs and some of the fiber you're eating is going to be fermented by these overgrown things that are going to create chemicals that are not good for your body and going to create this chronic inflammation. Because normally, like, if this, like, say, candida or whatever, if it's not overgrown and you have healthy bacteria in your whole system and you no, never took antibiotics, all these carbs you're going to eat are going to be digested normally and they're not going to be eaten by these pathogenic things that are creating these chemicals that are not healthy for you and cause inflammation in your body and your brain, causing you anxiety and depression and making your brain be in a state of over alertness and not being in, in calm awareness. And like you'll, like if, like I've, I've experienced for myself that for moments, like when I know that I haven't like this, when the state of inflammation in my body has been really low, my mind has been super calm and happy and clear. And it all relates to my gut bacteria and my microbiome. And so I just, I just feel like making this video because it's super huge. Um, and so many people have minor digestive issues and so many people have taken at least one round of antibiotics and so many people have taken like ibuprofen or different over-the-counter medications like I took my whole life uh, well not my, well yeah most of my whole life growing up until the last few years just taking random like, little painkillers and things like this and um, just eating processed foods and eating all the sugar and all this stuff like processed sugar and like once when your gut bacteria is altered and you start feeding all this crappy standard American food, like you're just building up this bad demon inside of you that is going to create this inflammation and anxiety and depression. And it's going to create this disconnect between you and everything else spiritually. And you're not going to feel connected to yourself or others. And your mind isn't going to feel clear. And... You're just going to be in a constant struggle because like the root of your anxiety and depression while it for sure like there's definitely like past experiences and traumas and not knowing how to deal with your emotions that's huge but if you're dealing doing all this and it's like you're still not it's like why do i still struggle with this like you probably have gut stuff going on too that is super subtle um but like it may that may be what's going on and so one thing that kind of um was crazy to me is that like i've been i was vegan for a while and then i kind of was forced to experiment because it was like this is stupid like why would i like, what if I need to eat meat or whatever? And I ate it, and I was like, ah, this doesn't really do anything. Um, but when I've experimented again, like, in, like, a couple months ago, I noticed that, one, when I ate mostly meat and less, like, carbs and stuff like that, I was less bloated. But also, like, I get really, like, anxiety and overwhelmed by people, especially with a concussion, but even before that. But if I had no carbs then I would be not overwhelmed by anything. Like, I would be calm. And it was just like, well, why is this happening? Why is it that when I eat meat, I don't feel anxious? And I don't think that it's because there's something in the meat that helps me feel better. Maybe. Probably not. I don't think so. But it's more like the meat lacks the carbohydrates that fuel the overgrown pathogenic stuff. And so it's like, oh, there's not that specific inflammation response that's going off. And so that kind of led me to switch my diet to a lower carb but still vegan diet, um, as well as doing fermented foods and probiotics and all these things. And I'm not, my gut is not healed. Like, I, I got a long ways to go, but I just want to make this video to maybe spark 
a path for you to maybe look down and go down and see if it makes sense for you because for me all of the factors line up like antibiotics destroy your gut bacteria I grew up eating McDonald's and and sugar and ice cream every night and I was taking over-the-counter medications and eating pop-tarts every day and bagel bites and it's no wonder that my brain is not healed it's no wonder that I have this chronic inflammation and when I get these injuries like a brain injury it doesn't heal because there's this issue that was built up from when I was younger and it's the same same kind of root issue that so many people have it's just that everybody has kind of a different thing like for me now my brain is super inflamed in super specific areas because of the injuries I've gotten and so the consequences of this kind of low-grade inflammation response is really big um, but for a lot of people like symptoms may be just like subtle anxiety or a little bit of depression or some brain fog or maybe a little bit of bloating or just it could be anything like dandruff or like cracky nails or uh, it could be anything or like white coating on your tongue or your tongue feels a little bit kind of weird um, it could like there's so many signs of this little inflammation <laughs> um, that could be at the root of your anxiety and depression it it's not the whole picture but it could be like 75 percent of the whole piece of the puzzle because I can tell you that for me every aspect of my being is 100 percent influenced heavily by the state of my microbiome and what's going on in my gut because your gut is your brain your brain is your gut and like if if you're in this chronic inflammation state then you're heft basically like you're not gonna feel good so I guess my recommendation at the end of this video would be to just maybe start in, uh, incorporating <laughs> some fermented foods, raw fermented foods, um, like sauerkraut or try to make your own water kefir, experiment with probiotic supplements and if you're eating a high carb diet maybe like try eating zero carbs one day and see if like your anxiety and depression goes away and if it does then you probably have some overgrown crap that needs to be removed so yeah so I want to make this video Hope it helps. If it doesn't, if I'm crazy, then so be it. Peace.